to another Reload Tutorial video. Today we are going to build an orangutan robot, which I'll be calling Utan. So Utan is built based on the orange bird primates found in Sarawak and Sabah. So as you can see, it's very different from our previous robots. Rather than using four limbs to move around, it uses two stronger arms to move, while the two legs, which are smaller, is only there to provide support. So with this, we can explore how to balance the robot by using only two limbs so that in the future when we build humanoid robots, we will have a better understanding of how to program the robot to move around by using two legs. Now let's get started and start building this robot. So for the feet, we will need one servo for each. So I only explain the instruction for one feet because since the design for both feet are the same, so you just have to repeat the instruction for the first one to build the second feet. So first take the servo and then on the opposite side of the upper connect, connect a slide, slide in the rotatable connect and then slide the whole servo into a new joint. Okay. Now we need an interconnect here, but since the new joint is actually blocking it, so you have to slide in here and then finally rotate it upwards. Okay. Now just take another interconnect, slide in the bottom of the U-joint, followed by a foot click. Okay, so this is the feet. So just repeat the instructions for the second feet. So now we are going to build the arms. So there will be three servos for each arm. One for the you can say one for the shoulder, one for the, the elbow and one for the wrist. We can say like that. So first take one servo and then connect it to a cube joint. Then at the bottom of the cube joint, okay, or any side of the cube joint you can just put in the interconnect. So this will be the shoulder. We'll just leave it, leave it for a while. Now for this part, this actually we are going to build two very similar structures. So I just built one, and then we can just repeat it for another one. So put a rotatable connect to, to the opposite side of the upper connect, and then just slot it into the long U joint. So repeat this for the other one. like so. For the first one, play an interconnect and then slot it into the servo of the other one like this. And then for the bottom one, slide in and interconnect and then connect it to a slim wheel. So this will be the hand of the robot. And then on the top part, remember the shoulder, slide in like this. And then this will be an arm. So there will be three servos, one here for the shoulder, one for the elbow and one for the wrist. So do take note that the long U joint protrudes at one side so when it's in this position it will actually be very hard for the servo to turn because it will be restricted by this. So if you want to make it turn, you need to make sure that it's in this position. That will be turned. So it will be able to turn, to turn in a very more fluent manner. So repeat this for the other arm because the, the design is the same. Now for the rear controller, so as the base of the robot, we will be slotting in the adapter joints. So we need two at the bottom for the feet, one on, the, one on each side for the arms and then one on the top for the head. So I'll start with the bottom. So slot in one adapter joint first and then three double spacers. And then Finally, you follow it with another that joint. So this is for the feet, and then for each side, we need an, an adapter joint on the top. So for this side, slide an adapter joint first, and then two double spacers and one single spacer. So for the other side, since it's inverted, we'll slot in the spacers first. And then follow it with the adapter joint on top. Okay, so and then for the top, just use the last four double spacers, slot in two first, and then in the middle is the adapter joint, and then finally the other two double spacers. And then the body is ready. So we will connect the feet. The feet already have interconnect. So we'll just connect it here. And then for the arms, remember to slot in the interconnects first. So then you can slide the arm. Like 
ですそんなことでヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッドヘッド We won't, we won't have enough interconnects to build the whole head. So, on one side of the servo, we put the little connect, and then on the other side, the interconnect. And then slot it in. Oh, before you slot in, remember to put in the interconnect first. This is for the head module. Okay, then slot in. So, in normal situations, we, both sides will be interconnects. But because for the right hand robot, it has already used up all the interconnects. So, A、uh, rotatable connect will suffice. And then finally, slot in the head module.、Like、this. So, also another point to take note is normally we'll just slot the interconnect here and then slot into the adapter joint. But this time we need the U joint because if we don't use the U joint, the neck won't be long enough and then this part of the head module will actually collide with the body. So, with this, just slot in and then we are done. So, since you're already done with, the, done with building a robot, you should start to collect the wires and then set the limits for the, for the servos. So, there's one thing I need to state here is well, the legs is pretty obvious, just all the way here to here. And then for the wrist, it's also very obvious. And then also for the elbow. But for the shoulders, I like to state that it's best to have a degree of freedom from here, say 90 degrees. For the shoulder, or more of it, all the way here, up here. Okay, you need something like this. Something like this. Okay, make sure that your arm can turn at an angle like that. So, in order to achieve it, you need to take note of the wires because it's a very big angle and it, there's a possibility that the wires will get tangled. So, to solve this, remember that you can use the extension for the wires or you can change the orientation of the motor to avoid any problem with the wires. Congratulations, you've just done building Utan. Now, for the end of the video, I'd like to give you a task. Now, use the teach mode and let Utan do something like this. As you can see, Utan is balancing itself by using only two arms. Now, try to use this. Now, I'll give you a tip. You need to make sure that the center of gravity is in the middle, or else u t a n will topple over when it stands upright. Now, for the first three people to post a video of u t a n standing up, we'll, at our Facebook Rero Kit, we'll be giving out a, a radio shack voucher, a 50 ringgit radio shack voucher for the first three people to post a video of their u t a n standing up. And then, so you can take it as a competition. So it's only viable for the first three people to post it on our Facebook page. Okay, now that's all for today. Thank you very much.